let us try to understand five major differences between 31.3 and 31.12 31.3 is a process piping code whereas 31.12 is hydrogen piping and pipeline code so these two codes are uh, setting the basic guidelines across whole process industry so let us try to understand what are the major differences between these two codes okay so let us try to understand this these differences with respect to these five parameters first one is pressure design thickness calculations branch connections materials and the requirements welding requirements so we'll look into each and every uh, aspect so that we can understand how these two codes are different from each other so let us start with this session and we'll start with pressure uh, design thickness calculation let us discuss what are the various differences when we talk about the thickness calculation between these two standards second major difference is related to branch connections okay when we are having a welded connection we always have stub in or stub out uh, stub on connection type uh, branches so let us see what are the various differences with respect to 31.12 and 31.3 if you look at if you try to understand the kind of uh, joints okay when we are doing the welding and bevel and bevel ends or uh, this kind of configuration the configuration of joints may be different for example in cjp that is complete joint penetration this is partial joint penetration if you look at this there is no weld inside uh, this okay here again there is no weld material here also if you see there is a gap in between here is also there is a gap okay maybe such kind of joints are there where there are gap so these are called penetrated uh, incomplete joint penetration okay so these kind of joints are available but in case of 31.12 these are not at all accepted only complete joint penetrations are allowed okay so this is what we are writing here the code also prohibits the use of piping joints associated with materials not permitted by 31.12 okay which includes soldering bell land and plastic joints although it does permit some kind of threading and tubing joints so this is something which is a uh, major difference with respect to uh, 31.3 we we only permit the 31.12 only permit the complete joint penetration second major difference is related to branch connections okay when we are having a welded connection we always have stub in or stub out uh, stub on connection type uh, branches so let us see what are the various differences with respect to 31.12 and 31.3 if you look at if you try to understand the kind of uh, joints okay when we are doing the welding and bevel and bevel ends or uh, this kind of configuration the configuration of joints may be different for example in cjp that is complete joint penetration this is partial joint penetration if you look at this there is no weld inside uh, this okay here again there is no weld material here also if you see there is a gap in between here is also there is a gap okay maybe such kind of joints are there where there are gap so these are called penetrated uh, incomplete joint penetration okay so these kind of joints are available but in case of 31.12 these are not at all accepted only complete joint penetrations are allowed okay so this is what we are writing here the code also prohibits the use of piping joints associated with materials not permitted by 31.12 okay which includes soldering bell land and plastic joints although it does permit 
some kind of headache and tubing pain. So this is something which is a major difference with respect to uh, 31.3. We, we only permit the 31.1 to only permit the complete joint penetration. Now there are few differences with respect to material also. If you see, there is a Nansel curve, Nansel diagram in API 941, which help us to select the material where hydrogen service is used. Okay, if you look at this curve up to 200 degrees celsius okay carbon steel is allowed okay, when the temperature increases then there is a requirement of different material so this is nansen diagram which talks about selection of material with respect to hydrogen services now what differences are there what stringent clauses in 31.3 are first they don't allow duplex stainless steel. This is an unlisted material. Second, they guide to avoid the use of nickel-based alloy. Okay. Now, with respect, these are two major uh, things which are uh, different with respect to 31.3. High temperature hydrogen attack, okay, which causes uh, kind of embrittlement in the metal hydrogen embrittlement so we, we were talking about this chart okay at temperature approximately above 200 degree a form of decarburization occurs what is this decarburization this is a kind of reaction with the carbon and hydrogen okay at certain temperature there will be a reaction between carbon and hydrogen which forms methane bubbles in the grain boundary okay so these kind of grain boundaries are there and the bubbles formation will be there which will create some cracks inside the metal okay so this kind of defects will be there so these kind of uh, uh, reactions may happen at high temperature so up above 200 degrees celsius these are expected. So martensitic, ferritic, and duplex stainless steel may be significantly affected by the hydrogen embrittlement because we generally use these kind of uh, steels at high temperature. Therefore, these should be avoided or we can use at very low stress level for a service in dry hydrogen. Okay, so this is again a very stringent requirement in 31.12 with respect to 31.3. Now with respect to NDE requirement, 31.12 is really very stringent as compared to 31.3. It requires radiography or ultrasonic testing after post weld heat treatment for low alloy steel. This is additional requirement. Then all the uh, ND requirements are more as compared to 31.3, which really increases the cost. Okay, not only additional ND requirement, but it calls for more stringent uh, rules also. 31.12 is really very stringent, costly with respect to 31.3. Uh, now let us try to understand the difference between these two codes with respect to welding requirement. In case of 31.12, 80 degree of preheat is mandatory for carbon steel for any thickness. Okay. Now let us try to understand with the help of these two tables which are there in 31.12 and 31.3. If you look at here, the materials are there nominal thicknesses are there and the preheating temperatures are there this is with respect to 31.12 now similarly in 31.3 there are materials this is thickness range and this is preheat so temperature requirement okay if you look at the carbon steel okay we have 10 degree whereas in 
31.12 it is 80 degree so this is the stringent requirement as compared to 31.3 with respect to welding so these were the five major differences between process piping code that is 31.3 and hydrogen piping and pipeline code that is 31.12 so we talked about thickness calculation differences how the branch connection requirements are different how the material selection is different how stringent the nde requirements are there how the welding requirements are different in both these codes so this was all about uh, the differences between 31.3 and 31.12